Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays. I hope your week is going good so far. Take this time to take a deep breath. Woosa. Today's topic that I wanted to talk about was five things that I wish I knew in my early 20s. And I also went ahead and posted a poll on Instagram to get some people's input to see what are some things they wish they knew in their 20s. A lot of them were having very similar answers. So I am going to go ahead and add that to my list. I think it's something that I also agree with and it's something that I wish I knew in my 20s. Before we get into this video, if you have not done so already, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have your post notification bells turned on. So you are notified each and every time that I post a new video. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing I wish I knew in my early 20s was to take risks. If you don't take a risk, you already failed, right? And with time and experience and age and all these other things that we go through in life, I learned that the risk you don't take is always going to be a what if, right? You can only fail if you don't try. Take the risk. Whatever you feel like you want to do in life, do it. Don't think about, oh, I don't have the resources. I don't have the experience. I don't have the money. Whatever you feel like you want to do, take the risk and do it, right? You're going to, as you get older, you're going to have more what ifs. What if I would have did this? And you're going to have regrets. You don't want to live with regrets. Take the risk. Take the risk. Better on yourself. If you feel like you're underqualified, you won't know until you try it. Do whatever it is that you feel like you want to do. It's trial and error, right? You could take the risk and you could be amazing. You could be great. You can exceed. Or you could take the risk and you could fail. But remember, it's not going to be that L that you take is not necessarily a loss. It's more of a lesson. Now you know what to do differently next time. You know what worked, what didn't work, a different approach to take on. The number one thing that I would say I wish I knew in my early 20s was take the risk and bet on myself each and every time. There's rappers out here that probably no one ever believed in them, but guess what? They took the risk. They bet on themselves. Same thing with athletes, actresses, actors, whatever it is, whatever profession. I'm sure not everyone believed in people, right? Jay-Z said, my uncle said I'll never sell a million records, but I sold a million records three times. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I'm going to insert it. You do it. Like my uncle, like, I, you know, my uncle, he was telling me, like, I'm never going to, my uncle said I never sell a million records. Mm -hmm. And he said, people project their fear onto you. Yeah. So he was just projecting, putting his fears on me. And which is true. But that didn't stop him. He still betted on himself. And look at him. Look at Jay-Z now. Number two. The second thing that I wish I knew in my early 20s was how to save money and how to build credit. Because... Money and credit goes hand in hand. And as we learn, as we get older, credit is extremely important. And sometimes credit can get you places that money can't. Not everyone in their early 20s knew about the value of credit or the value of money. I learned based off of life experiences. And I also learned by just like doing my research, watching certain videos on YouTube, and also reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. As for me, reading books, kind of helped me in that space and then also going to school i went to school for business management and then after that i went to school for accounting did not finish i should finish one day but i didn't finish but i did go to school for accounting being in certain rooms or being around different people i kind of picked up on things so i started to you know see how people were living and see what credit was doing for them or see what money was doing for them or seeing that no matter how much money you had if you didn't have credit or if your credit wasn't good that would pretty much lower your value and that would not let you get things that you wanted to get. As you become an adult, now it's harder sometimes for you to build credit or to save money because you already don't have the knowledge. Everything is learned behavior. So if you didn't learn that before, how to save money, as an adult, it's hard. Some people feel like, oh, 
I need to make more money. Guess what? If you're making more money, you're still going to be horrible at managing it. If you don't know how to manage $20, you're not going to know how to manage $20 million. So that is something that I wish I knew in my early 20s without having to go through trial and error. The third thing I wish I knew was to get out of my comfort zone. And I guess for this, I can say early 20s and teens because I think back in high school, right? If I knew then what I know now, things would have been different. So originally, I wanted to go away to college and all these, I had all these dreams and goals and aspirations. I was so comfortable. I was comfortable being in New York. I was comfortable being in the Bronx. I was comfortable being around my friends and my family. That's all I knew. Your comfort zone is where you go to die. And I don't want to sound harsh, but it's true. If you get stuck in being comfortable, that's going to set you back so far in life. I'm not going to lie. I'm still, at my age now, I'm still learning this. I'm learning to get out of my comfort zone. Your friends from the block are still going to be there when you get back. Or if it's meant to be, if that friendship is meant to be, you guys are going to still be friends no matter how far you are from each other and how close you are to each other. You'll also meet new friends as you go away to college and go on your different endeavors in life. You're going to meet new people. Three, something I wish I knew in my early 20s was to get out of my comfort zone. Make myself uncomfortable in order to grow. If the lighting changed, I'm sorry, it probably looks a little orange right now, but yeah. Now, the fourth thing I wish I knew in my early 20s was how to move with strategy rather than moving off emotion. A lot of times when you're going through things or when someone isn't meeting your requirements or fulfilling certain things that you want them to fulfill in your life, the first thing you do is you move off of emotion, right? If somebody's not treating you right, if you feel like somebody is taking you for granted or playing with you, whatever you feel like you're not getting from that person or if you feel like they are disrespecting you in any type of way, I think the initial reaction is to move off of emotion. Have you have everything figured out before you make a move? You sit, think about it, think what is the best thing for me to do next, make a game plan, figure it out, and then you can make your decision based off of being in the right, the right frame of mind, being have thought about it, not thinking off of impulse, you know, you give your time. Give yourself time to really think about it and go through the emotions before you speak on something so you're not speaking based off your emotions. Have a strategy, right? And the fifth and last thing that I wish I knew in my early 20s, and of course, there's probably many, many more things that I wish I knew in my early 20s. But for the purpose of this video, I just minimized it and made it five things that I wish I knew in my early 20s. And again, some of these things are also things that people answered on my Instagram poll and said they wish they knew in their 20s. I wish I knew how to stay out the way, let go, and move on. And I just want to categorize that all together. And staying out the way pretty much just means you don't have to be in the mix of things. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. And I really was never a follow, follow the crew type of girl. But, you know, sometimes you do feel like if these people I'm cool with is doing this, I got to do that. Or if this has happened, I got to be a part of that. You don't. Stay out the way. Stay exclusive. Don't be everywhere. Don't be with everybody. So that's that on that. As far as letting go, again, this kind of ties in what I already talked about. You don't have to wait until stuff really hits the fan to move on. When you feel like it's time for you to let go and move on, do that. Whether it's your family, whether it's your friend, whether it's your partner, whether it's a job, whether it's anything you owe nobody an explanation always do what's best for you if you are not new to my channel you're gonna hear me say that a lot always do what's best for you if you ever feel like it's time to move on and let go do that don't you don't have to wait for some drastic event a lot of us spare people you put their feelings first don't do that do what is best for you let go move on don't be afraid to start over don't be afraid to do what's best for you i'm gonna end the video on that note I want to know what are some things you wish you knew in your early 20s. And if you are in your early 20s, what are some things you wish you knew in your teens or your early teens? I want to talk about it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and if you have not done so already, make sure you subscribe. Because if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I will see you guys on the next episode of Wine Town Wednesdays.